what up, custom gang? Back in the booth with another one, man. What we're gonna be doing here, I'm gonna be taping off that rear door because I don't want to get any overspray on it from my sealer. Then I'm gonna be shooting these two panels, the uh, fender and the rear and uh, the door adjacent to the panel. Be shooting that with sealer with two coats of sealer. Let's get it did. Oh yeah, don't forget to tack your panel off. That's very important, man. That's a very important step in uh, refinishing, man. Make sure you tack your panels off, man, so you won't have all that dust in there. Okay, now I'm gonna get ready to lay down two wet coats of my uh, primer silly. It's a dark gray, but on the uh, mixing scale it says it's black. But it's a dark gray, as you can see. And another good tip when you're finishing the panel, when you're painting in between like your body lines, like your fender and your door, as you hit your, as you hit your front fender, go past on your door, go at least uh, halfway. Not halfway, just make sure you don't stop it at that line. If you stop it at that line, you're gonna have a build up of uh, product. You don't want that. Okay, I have my two coats of my sealer laid down. Now I'm finna put my base on. It's waterborne, as you can see. Stay at least six to 12 inches away from the panel. Go pass on your uh, on your body line there. And you should be straight. Watch me work. Okay, being that this is water-based paint, I have to blow it dry, and that's what I'm finna do right now, as you can see. This really is the only process that I hate, man. I hate blowing it off because really what it does, it stirs up any loose trash or anything that's in the booth floating around, man. You can have it, in, you can have it on your, uh, your panels. That's the only thing I hate about this step right here. They have up-to-date booths where you don't have to do this, the booth actually does it on the cycle for you. That's really good. But mine doesn't. I have a whole booth, so I have to use what I got. What you're seeing right now is me blowing the panels off like I was saying, and this is actually in real time. So this is how long it takes for you to blow the Blow a panel dry, man. <laughs> it's crazy.
or an in-between coach of your base, don't forget, man, you have to tack your panels off, man. That's a real important uh, process in painting. Tack your panels. I know some of y'all gonna ask of uh, how much the air pressure is that I'm using. I would say anywhere from 10 to 15 being that I'm using a water. But the thing is with that man is that I actually paint by by ear. Yeah, some of y'all ain't gonna understand that if you're not a painter, man. <laughs> but I actually paint by ear and feel. I don't have to set my gun to you know uh, a certain pound of pressure to spray. That's not me. I've been paying for a minute now, so it, I don't have to do that. And what I'm doing now is laying down a control coat. That's why I'm so far away from the panel. It actually controls the metallic in the paint, so it, so it doesn't look blouchy. And this is the last process of laying down your uh, base. All right, we get into the last, last procedure on here, man. That's laying down that wet wet, baby. You see it in that gun. Like I said, don't forget to tag your panels. You see me tagging that panel off, baby. We don't want no trash need paint job. We want them super slick and wet. You hear me? Wet wet. That's my name, man. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this panel tacked off, and uh, as you can see, <laughs> I'm loading up gonna make this thing wet baby and put that earl shine on there yeah <laughs> watch me work got a fool with this uh my little uh respirator here get it all situated but yeah i go baby watch me work Oh yeah, and as you can see, I like the holes on my clear man. It's a lot of people that, you know, they will put like a dry spray on there, just so when they come back with their next uh, coat of clear, it'll have something to hang on to. But man, if you know how to lay it down, baby, you know how to lay it down, so you won't have to do that. This come with experience though. So hey, let's get this thing wet. All right, finna lay down that second coat of that wet wet, baby. Watch me work.
All right, and just like that, we done lay down that wet, wet, baby. Check out the footwork. You see the shine on that thing, man. Woo, that thing is, I would say flawless. But you know, I think it got a little flaw in there. But hey, <laughs> what more can I say, man? Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow your boy, man. I'm out, Mr. Rollo Custom.